Mas Pedi, you're late for your morning milk trips. Why is that? I'm sorry, sir. That does not answer my question. I mean, you're never late. Is there a problem? There's no problem, sir. Now, what do you think is going to happen to this milk if it's not sold? I have no place to preserve it, and you know that. I'm going to get it there as fast as possible. Mas Pedi, I hope you do realize how important your work is around here. Everybody has come to depend on you. It will never happen again, sir. Good. You should wake up early instead of rushing and sweating like a fish in the morning. Yes, sir. But you promised I would see you tonight. I wanted to paint your portrait. Oh, come on, babe. You know I'm a busy man and I've got to bring in the shillings. I can't do that if I waste time letting you scribble me. Come on, I'm just kidding. Tell us to go to the What were you doing in the hospital? Me? Yes, you. I saw you. Eh? I thought you were going to get medicine. I tried to wave at you. You did not see me. I thought you were avoiding me. No, 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 no. Why would I want to avoid you? I had gone to get the medicine, the, the, the vitamin tablets. I... Yeah. Margaret, you and I have been friends for a very long time. You wouldn't be lying to me. How, oh, Mamambo? Why would I want to lie to you? Eh? You're my friend. And... Mr. Matano. Forget Matano. Hey. Now, Margaret, forget hey. Matano. We are talking. Hey. Don't even like this guy. Now, listen, tell How me. How are you? Good morning. Uh, hello, madam. <laughs> hello. Hello, madam. Good <laughs> morning. Yes. Good morning, Mr. Matano. It's a very good morning indeed. Today, I am the bearer of very good news. Your application to join our microfinance program, mm -hmm. it has been approved. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Headquarters have sent in your application forms. They are in my office. But, Mama Mboga, there's one problem. You still don't qualify for registration. Hey, and why not? Any group we deal with must first have elections and then officials. Ah, but Amata, that is no problem. You see, the other women have gone to buy food at the wholesale space. Yeah? But once they come back, and once you come back from Nancy's Express, we are going to have the elections. Ah, good. I'm happy to see that we are all working together. Eh? I can see even Margaret has overcome her skepticism. Sindio, Margaret. Sindio. <laughs> sure enough, the roly poly noise was still going on quite distinctly under the attic floor. This is serious, cousin Tabitha, said Ribby. We must send for Johnny Johnny at once with a saw. What will you read him when he's old and there's nothing more to read? He's only 10 days old. You don't expect him to understand anything you're saying. It all goes in. I read in one magazine that babies are receptive to storytelling. Whatever you say. I'm off to the market. Will you gentlemen take care of yourselves while I'm away? <laughs> Why don't you let me go? It's too soon for you to be up and about. Albert, I'm just going shopping. It's not like I'm going for a rally or something. Besides, I need to pick up a few things. We're having guests. Don't look at me like that. I told you the market women are coming to see the baby. Write down a list of what you need and I'll get it for you. Albert, I'll be fine. Besides, I need the exercise. <laughs> I caught her piece. <laughs> Stupid. This is for a girl. She has a boy. Here, yeah. a gift is a gift. Hey. Hey. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy. Hey. hey. You can walk. Hey, I'm not an invalid. You ladies should know better. Hey, Nancy, you are a strong woman. Now, what can we do for you? Well, I care for some fresh air and vegetables. <laughs> fresh air is for free. But you don't have any vegetables. <laughs> Their only has not arrived. But I still have yesterday's. They're still good. I'm um, sorry, Anna. I need them fresh. But never mind. I'll see you all later at mine, yes? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Where did you get to this morning? And you know I'm going to be late for classes. And we still haven't seen Matano. <sighs> Hold this bicycle for me. After this, you're going straight away to Matano. Ah, Maspiri, I hope you have enough milk. 
I need 10 liters more. I'm expecting some children to join my orphanage this afternoon. We're only carrying the usual amount. My speed will have to come back. OK. Uh, don't worry. My iron hose is in good shape. I'll bring you that extra one before you blink, Dakitari. Hey, Bishop, stupid. But he used to be a Dakitari. Huh? Oh, Bishop Washington, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, there's this feeling that I'm now having you. that. I want this place cleared. This place needs some tidying up. Such kind of disarray is what offends the sight of the Lord. Come on, Miss Pity. I want to decide. Miss Pity. Miss Pity. Now look at this one. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for someone. Albert? Um, try the cafe. He works in there. If he's not in there, he lives in that house. But I wouldn't go there if I were you. What do you mean? It's full of women and babies. You're talking about Albert Mkala. His wife just gave birth. The market women are visiting. It's chaos. I'm staying out of it. Do you like that one? You can have it. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. Just well, it's just that you seem so deeply involved in something. No, it's nothing. Mm, I want to see the nothing. I won't insist if you're doing something embarrassing. Promise you won't laugh? On my grandmother's big toe. What? My, my grandmother, you know, she had this big, ugly toe. And, you know, she used to tell people that she got it out of lying. <laughs> so whenever somebody lied, she used to show the big toe. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like my toes to become ugly because of lying. Here. Oh, this is good. No, it's okay. You can just go ahead and laugh. I can no, take it, you no, know. No, no, this is very good. Can I have one? No, they are not for sale. Look, I'll take this one and then I give you nine hundred bob. Save your money, doctor. This is a present for Nancy's baby. My donation. Oh, you're so keen on donating, then. I need the health center decorated. Can you paint the children's ward? Okay, why not? Good. Your boyfriend must be very proud of you. <laughs> not so many people have talent like you. Let's just say he doesn't notice. Well, there are rough patches in every relationship. The word is indifference. Maybe he has other things in his mind. Haven't we you? I see you've taken measures to prevent malaria. Hmm? I'd be insane not to. You know, we all know how malaria is dangerous to children under five. Besides, I have this new net, it's called Permanet, and it has dawa that even kills the mosquitoes before they come close to the baby. And best of all, this dawa lasts for very long. You know, the memory of my son, John, is still fresh. It is good to take care. You're sleeping under a net too, right? Oh, we all are. Albert is insistent that nothing poses a threat to his family. Hey, now I think we should greet the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You greet the baby now. Yeah, come, come. Yeah. <laughs> now, eh? Yeah. He's accepted my money. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri mche kore. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri mche kore. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri baya ye. Mwana beri mche kore. Mwana beri. Hey, Makaret, you took us to your man. That yeah. is a sign of bad luck. Yeah, I think I think we should go back to our stalls, eh? Excuse me. Ooh. So, all you need is 30% down payment on the money you need for the milk cooler. Hmm? My company can buy it on your behalf and also guarantee the balance for you. And they would be happy to do that. I've noticed that there's quite good demand for milk and milk products here. My only advice to you is that you should always keep your milk fresh and clean, and you'll never have any problems with your repayment. I've always kept my milk fresh and clean, Mr. Matano. Uh, we wouldn't want anyone to get sick. One more important thing. You must each have a medical certificate of health and go for medical checkup every six months. I have mine right here with me. Pipi. Where is yours? I don't have one. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with me. I'm afraid you're missing the point, Mr. Philip Barak. Eh? You are partners now, and you must protect each other against the things that might threaten your business. 
How much is this 30%? 12,000 Kenya shillings. No. 12,000 shillings? No. We can't afford that. <laughs> My dear Mr. Masbidi, you're already sweating. <laughs> you wait until you start the business, then you'll feel the real heat. <laughs> Hey, Albert, you look paler than my speedy. Have you seen a ghost? I've always warned you about that house. No, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. Do you know someone who needs a kidney? What? To pay the 12,000 to Matano. Come on, Maspidi. There's no need to sweat like that. We'll work something out. How much do you have? Are you all right? Just, just a bit tired. Uh, maybe I need to go home and have some rest. Are you chickening out on me? If you're tired, drink some milk. Who told you I'm a cat and I need to drink fresh milk? You've been acting strangely since this morning. What's wrong with you? Let's go. Maspidi! 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 That was brief. Well, you can't keep business women from the market for long. So, what have they brought you? Someone thinks your firstborn is a girl. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign that we should get a daughter soon. You're out of your mind. I'm not going through that experience again soon. Can <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get you a cup of tea or something? Oh, don't worry, I can do it. A girl. I'll get it. What are you doing here? Is that how you welcome your guests? You can't stay here. You need to leave. <laughs> That's not very nice after all this time. Who is it, darling? No one important. No one important? How times have changed. I mean it, Maria. I don't want you here. Oh, you're taking a long time for no one important. Hi, I'm Nancy, uh, Albert's wife. Pleased to meet you. I'm Maria. So, how do you know each other? Oh, Albert and I go way back. She's my cousin. Oh, Albert, with keeping family waiting. Come in. Albert, please take her back. And who's this little one? Cousin, hey? Where am I? In hospital. It's malaria. What? Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Must get back to work. Hey, you can't even think about that right now. I'll get fired. Look, you have to get better first. I need 12,000 shillings, you remember? I need to make my share of the money too. Are you making any money now? If I pay this bill, I won't be able to contribute towards my shares. Look, you can't think about business and money things right now. You've never heard of people being chained to their hospital beds until they're able to pay off their debts. Don't worry about that. You get better. I'll talk to my dad about it. You want me to get fired? What do you think Mr. Baraka would do if he realized that I've been suffering from malaria? How do you think my dad would feel that he kept you working while you were sick? My dad is not a slave driver. Must get out of here. Should be out there making some money. Good, you're awake. I'm happy to say I can discharge you. Is he fully recovered? He can go home, but only if he takes these tablets, follow my instructions as to how to take care of himself. What does he need to do? These are ACT's drugs. ACT stands for Artemisin Combined Therapy. These are new drugs for treating malaria in Kenya. The SP drugs are no longer effective. This is good treatment. Now, he need to take four tablets twice a day. Got that, Speedy? These are too many pills. Are you sure? Mm, it's not bad. Just look at the times I've written down and make sure you're eating something while you're taking them. And avoid milk. I'll help, but he's already feeling better, so 
can he stop taking the pills and save some for the next time? No, no, he can't do that. He'll get better quickly. But he has to finish the full course. Sawa? I'll try. Good. Now all you have got to do to settle the bill. How much? 2,500. Should have just let me die. Where am I going to get that kind of... Ah. Don't worry, doctor. We'll pay. Thank you very much. No problem. If I pay, I'll even have less chance of getting the money to pay for the milk bar. Ah, don't worry about it. Tell me, do you still want to sell that kidney of yours? Mama Mboga, eh, the market looks a little bit empty. Is there a problem? Uh, you know, the supplies have not arrived yet. Eh? And we have this, but it's not very good. It is almost going bad. Ah. <laughs> How unfortunate. Actually, I was just going to put in an order for my orphanage. Hey, Bona Washington. You know, you are a very good man. In you, I see the head of the road. <laughs> eh? We have so many orphans in this community and nobody cares. Well, I'm just obeying the voice of the Lord. So, <clears throat> can I have a sack of skumawiki and cabbages? Uh, I need carrots as well and some fresh fruits. They eat that much? <laughs> they are growing children, Mama Mboga, and their number is also increasing. But catch, no credit. Oh, certainly, certainly. I can even pay you now. Uh... You know, when I'm watching to what we can do, we can even make it a weekly supply. Once this supply problem is over, I can assure you we can give you every vegetable you want. Oh, that would be nice. But unfortunately, um, it's a bit difficult to predict our requirement ahead of time. But I'll keep that option in mind. The boys will be coming to collect that. Okay, thank you. Hey. Did you see how many vegetables he bought? Hey. Huh? And just imagine if you are selling them at full price. Funny Albert hasn't mentioned you before. <laughs> Excuse me, must be time for a feed. Whatever you have to, you'll not succeed. I'm sure you know better than to threaten me, cousin. What did you want me to say? The truth. You lied to me and now you're lying to her as well. I did not lie to you. You told me there was no one else. I met Nancy long after you and I had split up. And what about when you told me you are not ready to commit to anyone long term? The relationship I had with you can never compare to what I have with Nancy. Oh. He was just a bit restless. Oh, uh, can I hold him? No, I don't think so. Why not? He doesn't like strangers. Don't be ridiculous, Albert. Maria's family. Come here. Hey, you little thing. Come here. Hey. Hey, he's got your eyes. Oh, really? <laughs> You're the first one to say that. Everyone thinks he looks like his dad. Oh, luckily for him, I don't think that's true. Hey. Why is it taking you too long to clear this and the backyard is still waiting? I am tired. Nah, 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 I'm tired. If it was something you are eating, you'd be asking for more. You think this is an eating holiday camp, eh? Now get on with this or there will be no lunch for one week. And stop looking at me. Good morning, Dr. Washington. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, <laughs> Mr. Baraka. I assume you've got your boys working to clear this area. I'm sure you've heard about Maspidi. Huh? Maspidi? Yeah, he's in hospital with malaria. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't like anything to happen to these children. Better safe than sorry, you know? You're <laughs> such a kind person, Bishop Washington. <laughs> the children must be very lucky to be under your care. <laughs> Keep it up, Bishop. Thank you, thank you. Did you hear that? Hey, do you want to keep mosquitoes breeding around here? I will not pay for anyone who falls sick. Now, come on, get on with it, or there will be no lunch. Mm. So, how did you two meet? Oh, well, we were in college together. Uh, he was in his final year. Well, I was How long ago was that? <laughs> like eight years ago. And that's your first one? <laughs> First and last, if I have my way. Oh, by choice or accident? <laughs> That's a strange question. Why do you ask? Oh, well, eight years seems such a long time in a relationship to it before having children. Well, <laughs> truth is, Junior came quite unexpectedly. Oh. Yeah, but... I see. But we're quite happy about it. 
It's given our marriage something new. Mm. So, Maria, when are you due back home? Oh, I don't have to rush back. It's quite a journey. I wouldn't want you and the little one to have to travel at night. We have space here. Maria can stay. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? It might be disruptive for the baby. Oh, he won't even notice we're here. Promise. <laughs> I supplied my family and all my staff with mosquito nets. Where is yours, Maspidi? I sold it to a market woman. I wanted just to pay off my debts. Otherwise, I couldn't have matched the money that people was going to bring into the milk bar. You sold it? I, I just wanted to be a good business partner. But you're no good to me in hospital, Maspidi. Uh, are you going to fire me? Fire you? I will fire you? If you ever endanger your life like this again, I will go pay your bill and I will help you out with milk bar. <laughs> you and me are going into business. Let's rock and roll, buddy. <laughs> wow, you must have spent a fortune on this. I didn't want to buy you low quality paint. You have talent and I don't want to demean it. Mm. So, has he made his presence felt? Your boyfriend? No, ah, not really. You say that a cow doesn't know the value of his tail until it loses it. Are you calling Carissa a cow? I'll leave that to you. Margaret! Daktari! How are you? I'm very fine. <laughs> and how are you feeling? Uh... Okay. Good. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Daktari. So that is the big secret. What? Don't you think he's too young for you? <laughs> you can rough all you want, I don't care. I am not in love with the doctor. You know, I just don't know what is troubling you. Eh? I don't like seeing you unhappy. Mama Boga, I am fine. No, you're not, Margaret. You're my friend. And you're giving me sleepless nights. I'm worried about you. Mama Boga, please, just let it go. I can't, I won't. Margaret, what is this that you cannot tell me? The truth is just too much. The truth will set you free. The truth cannot always set you free, Mama Mboga. After this, you will not even want me selling here. Why do you say that? Eh? What have you done? I have not done anything. I am HIV positive. Mm, that was delicious, Maria. You really didn't have to cook for us. Oh, it's the least I can do as your guest. <laughs> Weren't you hungry, dear? Oh, I'm so sorry. Albert was never one for spicy things. Let me help you wash up. Don't be silly. You sit back and relax and catch up some more with my husband. You must leave. Is there something wrong with your ears? Get used to it. I'm going nowhere. If you think I'm going to let you mess up my family, you're mistaken. You're not in a position to call the shots. You owe me, and the sooner you understand that, the better for you. So, you're threatening me in my own house? No, I prefer to call it advice. And I expect you to behave like all responsible men do and look after your baby. What? You heard me. Cynthia's your child. <sighs> That's it. I'm not taking any more of these lies. Get out! I'm sure you really don't want to push me, Albert. That child cannot be mine, and you know it. Well, accidents happen. I'm sure Nancy has seen such cases working at the pharmacy. Should we ask her? Don't dare mention anything to her. So you're asking me to lie to your wife? No, I'm just asking you to keep your mouth shut. All right, what are you intending to do? Because I won't keep quiet forever. What are you saying? It's time you accepted responsibilities. It would be easier for you to look after us if you're all under the same roof. You can't live here. Either you let us stay or I tell Nancy about you and me. Now what is it to be, cousin? 